Hello again and welcome back to my channel. As with recent videos, it's freezing again and it's another big job that's broken out outdoors. Now this time, uh, this short video really, because I'm uh, limited in what I can film just out of respect uh, the privacy of my neighbours, I had to erect a five foot fence between us and next door, which is using feather boards and nearly 200 of them so it had to be done over the course of a weekend for reasons why i shall go into at the end of the video now i suppose i better put a disclaimer at this point i'm not in the trade i'm not a fencer i'm just a bloke who makes things and i only work with one arm so i had to come up with some kind of method to get quickly consistently and nice as well i wanted to do a good job of it to get this fence up as i say nearly 200 feather boards is quite a big job for anyone really so i've got a little bit of footage to show you how i went about doing it i'm going to come back to the end tell you a little bit more about it and i'll see it at the end right it's freezing again uh, but i think i've got the technique boxed off so one of these fellas and this set to the width of the overlap so I'll pop that on the top and then use the level and the humble brad nail gun now this is only a temporary fix all right it's not the permanent but it's to tack it in place and then i can come back later with one fixing top one fixing for bottom to drive it in what do you reckon yeah i'll show you i'll see what i mean
And that's pretty much it, how I went about it. To be honest, I've no idea if this is the correct technique or not. There might be people who are going to come on and say, that's not going to last. And I really don't know whether it will or whether it won't. What I can say, it's gone up. It's really sturdy. It's fixed to an existing fence. All right, I'm really happy with how it's turned out. It's lovely and level. All right, now, just to clarify this bit with the Brad nail gun, I used galvanized nails, but this wasn't for the actual fixing of the fence. This is merely to pin the featherboard to the actual existing fence, which I can then return later with my impact driver and then drive a fixing in. Now, the fixing was to secure the featherboard to it, not the nail gun itself, just to clarify that bit. Now, where I actually put the fixing in, when I built my uh, shed last year and uh, um, I put the featherboards on, a guy got in touch and said, gave me a bit of advice on where to drive the fixing. And as it showed in the video, it's kind of just past where the overlap is. So if you drive it in there, um, it allows for the expansion of the boards because the boards are quite wet when I put them up. So I, I gave more of an overlap. That was another piece of advice I given. Now, again, that could have been absolutely rubbish advice. It could have been the best piece of advice I've ever gone because I don't, work in the trade i don't really know but it's gone up all right it looks great and hopefully that should be okay and should last us for a good few years um now if you guys were taking doing this you wouldn't need the fancy tools all right if you're able body folk you work with two hands you wouldn't need that phase because you wouldn't need to pin it down before you drove the fixing in and you don't necessarily need an impact driver either because just need one of them just need a hammer and uh, to nail it in my left-handed hammering is an absolute joke all right so i'd have been here for the next six weeks if i had to hammer the fixings in so that's why i went with screws um but a simple com simple combination square that's what made the job as you know turned out as nice as it did because the actual that part as i showed you uh just for showing where the overlap is so just keep doing that you could consistently do that very quickly and then you just flip it over to the level just to check you've got your board level once you've tacked the top one in and then drive the other fixings in or hammer it down however you're going to go about it right i'm going to take you i'm going to go inside i'm going to get a brew on just for the last part of the video to explain why we put this up as quickly as we did because yeah my hands falling off at the moment. All right, we'll see you inside. Right, folks, now let me introduce you to Sonny. Okay, now this poor guy was abandoned a couple of weeks ago at our local rescue centre and they knew nothing about him, unfortunately. They didn't even know his name, didn't even have a collar on. Did you? So they've done a bit of online detective work and they found out his name was Sonny and he's about seven years old, but they don't know any more about him. So we, me and Pam have taken him on as his foster carers, okay? He had some surgery on his mouth the other day for about four hours, unfortunately, to sort his teeth and his gums out. But he's settling okay. But part of the foster care agreement is you've got to have a five-foot perimeter fence in your back garden. So that's the reason why the old fence had to go up as quick as it did. Are you going to say hello, lad? Is this it? Okay, guys. All right. Thanks very much for watching as ever. Take care. Look after yourselves. And I'll see you soon. Okay. Thank you. All right. There you go. Come on.